Hey everybody, it's Scott from Hexiled Gaming. I've got another match of X-Wing 2nd Edition for you here on Tabletop Simulator. This time between Zeke on the left and Pile of Garbage on the right. These guys are already getting it started here. Three hard turn out of Vader. Going to spend an Afterburner's Charge to go right into the face of uh, Palob. Tries to... Um, Barrel roll, but can't. Spins the afterburners. Does an action, and then is spending a force point to target lock, and then maybe another one to focus. Nope. Says he's gonna... Looks like he's gonna use those force points instead of focus. Doesn't have anything to worry about from these two ships, so that's not bad. And doesn't want to focus in front of Palob anyway, so what am I what am I saying? Oh, you have to after you perform an action, so he failed the barrel roll, so he can't target lock. That's right. Zeke catches that. Should have definitely gone for the target lock first. Maybe he was just really confident in that uh, barrel roll. So Oiken moves up right in front of this debris. Alright, Vader range one, three force points. Oh wow! Natties! Two hits and a crit. Didn't need that target lock, although he could have changed another one into a crit. Not gonna matter too much here, probably. Got lots of paint. We'll probably spend one focus. How did he have so few focus? Did he do a stop move? He must have boosted. So it doesn't have any more focus. That's unfortunate. Takes one. Alright, nothing for Ketsu. Nothing for Terok. So we'll go to Palop here. Range one. No mods. Really got to bank those focus in the beginning of the game. Let's see how bad he wants it. I mean, he definitely wanted a, a token of some sort, either to reroll with Lando or to focus. Two evades. That is one safe Vader. So mistakes on both sides. That, uh, Failed barrel roll, and uh, not having a lot of tokens here. Death Troopers, during the activation phase, enemy ships at range 0 to 1 cannot remove stress tokens, so you'd have to get in that range in order to use it. One hit goes through on Palob. Back to dial as we go. Gonna see a too hard out of Terok. Although maybe he'll try and flank to give Ketsu room to get in here. Uh, Agile Gunner is going to turn that turret arc. So he's definitely gonna hard turn in here. No doubt about it.
Mars says or out, so he could he could turn away, but that would be misguided. He wants to get in here close. He's probably not a big target. Well, actually, there's only two targets, so maybe he is. <laughs> Both Palab and Oiken are initiative three. I don't know who has initiative. We'll find out soon enough. Whoever goes first. There's nothing in the systems phase. So Palab moves first. So that means old Zeke has initiative. So one bank left, makes sense, relieves the stress. Gets in Vader's grill. Two hard turn out of uh, Oiken, gonna take the stress and roll for the debris. Nothing. So too hard out of Terok. Goes for the boost and fits. Nicely done. Stresses for the focus. Nothing to worry about from uh, Death Troopers. Alright, and the Shadowcaster just going to slow roll it with a two bank left and turn that arc. Three bank out of Vader. Might be a good time to take that target lock. Not, no real repositioning options here. This, he doesn't have a boost. Auto thrusters or afterburners. Yep, you're right. So that is the last afterburner. So nothing for old Terry to steal. I'm gonna shoot range two into Oiken. The focus. Two hits and a focus. All right, side arc. So it looks like Oiken took two. dice. Mars is mad, sees a, a scum list with no quad jumper, so he, he bets on the other one. <laughs> so two hits into Oiken after re-rolling with the correct number of dice. So now a range one from Palab into Oiken. Hit crit focus. Spins the... F mm. Nope, he's going to keep it. And that crit is... Oh, double damage. Down to 10 weird to say.
So now Oiken's going to shoot, range one. No mods. Two hits. Into Palov. One evade. And he didn't spend the focus. Is he going to do it now? He sure is. Evades both. Bill says he's all about dim hawks. Look, I can't, I can't make subscriber emotes for everyone. Hawk is too meta anyway. I needed to get toned down a little bit, and then we can, we can make hawk emotes. All right, back to dials. Um, is so Vader's not stressed, so hopefully we'll see him uh, K turn here. Oiken might actually be able to cause some bumps here. Well. Palop moves first. in order to stop it from... I mean, I guess you just do... Well, he's stressed. I was going to say you do like a 4 or 5. So he'd have to do a 2... Maybe a 2 hard. There's the 1 forward from the Hawk. Ooh, let's see. Does he turn that arc? And focus, because that would be good for the Death Troopers. Of course, it, it, he'd have to be at range 0 to 1 in activation, right? During the activation phase, enemy ships at range 0 to 1 cannot remove stress tokens. So, as long as he gets out of range 1, Death Troopers are kind of bad. We'll see. I think I'd rather it be range 2 in arc or something. The 2 forward, it's a blue on uh, Oiken. Goes for the focus. Bill Copperman says, Death Trooper's not good. Yeah, I, uh, I've wanted to do a an episode of armchair aces with death troopers so we'll see about that cloaking device is next then maybe death troopers or maybe um uh, some sort of aggressor double edge or something anyway there's the uh focus linked action So that's the problem with Death Troopers. He's trying to say, hey, you can't remove the stress, but would it be after the maneuver? Yeah, because you move, then you do check pilot stress. Oh, that's right. Yeah. No, that this is right. So he moved, and he couldn't relieve that stress, so he can't boost. That's right. So hey, it worked!
<laughs> Bill Copperman saying he leveraged them well there. Yep, you're right. Should have target locked with Oiken. Yeah, I wonder if he... Hmm. I wonder if he did that. Well, no. I was going to say, I wonder if he did that, if he focused, so that Palab would want to turn the arc backwards to steal and therefore take a stress, but he was... It doesn't matter, because he's going to be out of range one anyway. Two hits. Three evades. All right, now we're going to get... Oh, there's three damage in the... Lincoln. So who's... And Ketsu's target lock for two hits into Oiken. Takes two more. So I think he's down to seven, actually. Yeah. That's right. Oh, he's got a hull upgrade. No, he's at eight. Here's the rear arc shot. For two hits into Oiken. Oh, he's gonna re-roll one with Lando, so there's another one. Down to five. Shot into Terok. I always have to look up Concordia face-off. While you defend, if the range is one and you are in the attacker's front arc, change one result to an evade. So, can't use Concordia face-off here. And, oh, there it is. Mata saying, should have target locked. Just like Bill said. Or... All right, maybe Vader will get into the fight, but I think uh, I think Palob's pretty much handling Palob and and uh, Ketsu pretty much handling this situation. Do we see Terok going to uh, shoot at Vader? Vader's pretty much untouched at this point. 51 minutes left. Probably another one bank out of Palob. He's got his arc facing backwards, so he'd probably get something. Four, 
start focusing. That's right. Three hard, lands on a rock. And takes the damage. Down to four. One bank out of Ketsu. Probably go for the target lock here. I mean, check for range. Yeah, he's got it. You can't check arc, but it's fine. Two bank out of Terok. Probably going to barrel roll to get away from that debris. Maybe barrel roll right and up. There he goes. Just barely fits in there. Going to stress and take a focus. Nice maneuvering. Going to barrel roll backwards with uh, supernatural reflexes. Too hard in. Probably target lock. Don't focus. I don't know why he had to spend a force point. He didn't do a regular action. Alright, range one. Four dice. A blank and three focuses. He's gonna fire control system one. Oh my god. There. It seemed like he spent one of Vader's force points to do his normal action. Oh boy. Four hits from Terok, one evade from Vader, two shields and a damage. Oh, he had to spend one force token to uh, do the supernatural barrel roll. That's what I'm getting confused by. That ain't free. Um, range three from Ketsu into Oiken. And he doesn't have a focus, so he's going to take that damage. He's down to three. Exposing a damage card. I guess one was a crit. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten, eleven. He's got two left because he had 
hull upgrade. Alright, Vader gets one force point back. Remember that time when Vader rolled all focuses, even with fire control system? That was tragic. And he only had one force point, and he knew that Terok got uh, free evade from face-off, so there's no reason to spend it. That was just tragic. So Terok is untouched. So is Ketsu. Palab's on three. Oiken is on death's door. Vader is down to two. This is just looking real one-sided. He's going to have to do some real creative maneuvering here with Vader. I mean, I guess he could have... Hmm. Oh, he did fire control system, so he couldn't spin the lock during that attack. It might have been better to just spin that lock. He wouldn't have been able to use advanced targeting computer, probably. Fricky says, Decimator is not in a good place. Decimator... Look, I'm gonna say something controversial here, alright? Decimator's not good. It does not output enough damage to equal its zero agility. It does have a coordinate and a reinforce. I mean, if, if we saw more reinforcing, maybe. Yeah, Bill says, give my decimator its boost back. I, I agree. Sonic says, oh look, two Imperial ships. Ooh, I hope you're not coming in right now because it's not going great for these Imperial ships. Too hard turn from Oiken. Mars says, give Decimator something different to make it stand apart. Yeah, I mean, it, it needs something to do with these Reinforce. I think it would be way stronger if you were doing a white Reinforce all the time. And why does it have a reload? I guess for bombs? Man, nobody's going to do that. I've been testing something like this, Intimidate, on a range zero attacker. Yeah, I mean, it sounds good, it's just, without boost, it's difficult to line up. And everybody sees it coming a mile away. Now, it does have a stop maneuver, right? So that's kind of good. Oh, shit, you're right. That's not reload, that's rotate. <laughs> you're right. What a nub. Oiken turns, Palop comes in, still only one focus, has that arc facing backwards, did, did, he, did he boost, is that what he did? Alright, Vader's gonna shoot, he's got one force point right now, range one, with a target lock, he's gonna reroll this bad boy, for two focuses, 
He's going to spend a force point and turn this into a crit. And hope that one of these crits is a double damage. Yep, there he goes. Did he already change it into a crit? Oh my god, double natties for Palob. Takes one crit. Maybe it's weapons failure. That could be nice. It is a fuel leak. Fuel leaks for days. That is half points though. 29 to 100. No stop on the decimator, really? Hmm. All right, uh, shooting out the front arc from Ketsu into Vader, 3v4, would it be 3 plus 1 plus 1, wouldn't it be 5? That's got to be obstructed. Mars says there is no stopping a decimator. Hit crit. He doesn't have any tokens. Oh no! Oh no! Vader's dead! That game is over. Range 3 obstructed. Three plus obstructed. Oh no! <laughs> wow. Wow, wow, wow. <laughs> All right, well, that's going to do it for this match. Thanks, everybody, for joining me. Thanks, everybody, for playing. I think that's going to wrap us up for tonight. I'll be back on tomorrow to play more, watch more X-Wing. Until next time, this is Scott from Hexiled Gaming, signing off.